I would say that the negotiators for Germany have done a far better job than the negotiators for the United States. But hopefully we can even it out. We don't want victory. We want fairness. All I want is fairness. Uh, Germany's done very well in its uh, trade deals with the United States, and I give them credit for it. You have the conservative groups. You have other groups. Everybody wants certain things. Uh, in the end, we're going to have a great health care plan. Now, I have to tell you that Obamacare is a disaster. It's failing. Uh, I was in Tennessee. They have half of the state is uncovered. The insurance companies have left. And the other half has one insurance company, and that'll probably be bailing out pretty soon also. They have nobody. You have many states where they have one, <clears throat> and you have a lot of places now where they'll have none. Obamacare will fail. It will fold. It will close up <clears throat> very, very soon if something isn't done. I've often said politically the best thing I can do is absolutely nothing. Wait one year, and then even the Democrats will come say, please, please, you've got to help us. But it's not the right thing to do for the people. We have a great plan. We have a plan that's getting more and more popular <clears throat> with the Republican base, with the conservative base, and with people generally. Uh, the press has covered it very inaccurately. People are truly covered well. And I think it's going to be something that's going to be a model to be looked upon. Frau Dunz. <coughs> Mayor Dunz, please. Christina Dunz from the German Press Agency. For how dangerous do you think this isolationist policy of the U.S. President is, what with the import uh, uh, tariffs that he plans and also for, with the fact that he doesn't think the EU uh, doesn't uh, deal with the EU um, in a very respectful way? And, um, um, Mr. President, America first, don't you think that this is going to weaken also the European Union? And why are you so scared of um, diversity in the news and uh, in the media, that you speak so often of uh, fake news and that um, things, after all, in the uh, in the end cannot be proven, for example, the fact that you have been wiretapped by Mr. Obama. <laughs> nice, friendly reporter. Well, first of all, I don't believe in an isolationist policy, but I also believe a policy of trade should be a fair policy. And the United States has been treated very, very unfairly by many countries over the years, and that's going to stop. But I'm not an isolationist. I'm a free trader, but I'm also a fair trader. I am not an isolationist by any stretch of the imagination. So I don't know what <coughs> newspaper you're reading, but I guess that would be another example of, as you say, fake news. Rejected White House claims that the alleged um, wiretapping on, on you, on, on the Trump Tower, on Trump Organization, or on members of your campaign was uh, that British uh, intelligence was either responsible for it or involved in it. Um, after these claims are rejected, what is your take on that? Uh, are there other suspects, or um, do you think it was uh, it was a mistake to blame British intelligence for this? And by the way, my second question: Are there from time to time uh, tweets that you regret? In hindsight, very seldom. Very seldom, very and seldom. you would have. So you never v would have very wished seldom. not to have. Uh, Probably wouldn't something. be here right now, but so very seldom. We have a tremendous group of people that listen, and I can get around the media when the media doesn't tell the truth. So I like that. Uh, as far as uh, wiretapping, I guess by you know this past administration, at least we have something in common, perhaps.